firm, I would like to thank you for taking the time to review our presentation. My name is Benjamin Morris, and my fellow firm members are Chris Gent, Devin Knighton, Daryl Loney, Liz Sharwin, and Christine Snively. Our firm's presentation will discuss recommended strategies and tactics that will help to redefine the American public's idea of success concerning the current war in Afghanistan from both public relations and political management standpoints. Our picture of success is something that we call victory redefined. This picture will include the establishment of broad changes in public and political perception about the military's ongoing and future operations in Afghanistan. As will be discussed, the American people's definition of success in armed conflicts has changed over our nation's history. And to help illustrate this point, I would like to briefly share with you a personal story about witnessing such a change firsthand. Before attending college, I served in the Persian Gulf War with the U.S. Army's 3rd Armored Cavalry Regiment, 18th Airborne Corps. The 1991 Gulf War at the time represented the first major military action for the U.S. since Vietnam, some 20 years earlier. Prior to the war, public opinion was full of cautiousness and uncertainty. No one in America wanted to go through another Vietnam War experience, me included. But with a resounding victory for the U.S., those fears quickly faded. And upon my unit's return to America, we were amazed by the immense gratitude and national pride conveyed to us by citizens every place we went. Looking back, I now believe my role as a soldier afforded me a front row seat to this major shift in America's public opinion and political outlook regarding the U.S. military and warfare. Fast forward to 2010, and America's military is now fighting a global war against the threat of terrorism. The extended conflicts in Iraq and Afghanistan have served to once again shift public opinion and political perception about military victory to a different place in our nation's collective conscience. With our firm's picture of success in mind, the following presentation will seek to guide our nation's government and the American people toward a new understanding of what success, not necessarily victory, can be in Afghanistan. And with this new definition of success, our firm will lay the foundation for yet another shift in American public and political perception concerning the Afghanistan conflict that will benefit our nation as well as our brave military.